So you've stumbled upon my video and now let me teach you a little bit about DeFi. So the roots of DeFi or decentralized finance started not with SushiSwap but with Uniswap, one of the first and currently probably the largest decentralized exchange in the world. Now what can you do here and what's the difference between Uniswap, uh, you know, SushiSwap and for example Binance? Well, it's very simple. On Binance you have to go through a middleman to perform a transaction. Binance is the middleman, they allow uh, they actually provide the liquidity. So if you want to trade from one token to another, Binance gives you the other token and essentially what they what they take from it is a small commission. So a small little commission on every single trade done. Now, the difference between that and a decentralized exchange is massive. So right here, as you can see, or let me just use SushiSwap as an example. If I want to swap Matic uh, into Sushi, I can type, for example, a certain amount. And basically what happens is when I connect it to a wallet and when I press swap, this sushi swap that's coming into my wallet, so the sushi swap that I bought with some of my Matic is as a result of people in these liquidity pools. Now, there is a bunch of pools that you can check out here on Uniswap and everywhere else. And essentially what it means is that people who keep their money in liquidity pools are earning a reward or an interest on the money that's actually in the pools. So for example, uh, you, uh, keep a bunch of sushi uh, staked right here in this pool you're getting a certain average percentage return per year and that's a good interest for you now the benefit for me as a person who wants to swap matic into sushi is very simple uh, when i press swap your sushi is going into my wallet and my matic is going into the automated market maker which is the decentralized exchange so it's a revolutionary idea and it's basically what started off DeFi. Uh, or decentralized finance and it's really cool i believe DeFi has a huge potential for the future not only in these decentralized exchanges but uh you know a lot of other ways of money you know investing saving buying homes purchasing goods storing value a lot of different things will come uh, into play with decentralized finance now if you enjoyed the video so far if you learned something make sure to leave a like i really do appreciate it and right now uh, we're gonna do a little overview of the website you can be a DeFi chef with sushi see some of the stats right here two billion dollars of liquidity currently in the ecosystem 175 billion dollars uh, of total volume on the network it's quite huge and 2.7k pairs that you are able to trade a Michelin star uh, worthy DeFi innovations. You can check out some of the actual uh, ties that these projects have with Sushi. So for example, you can stake Sushi and earn uh, governance rights and also a percentage reward. They have this onsen program, which is essentially accelerating uh, projects. If you want to make your project grow at a faster pace, you can join the onsen program. Cashy lending and leverage if you want to borrow some crypto and a multi-chain automated market maker, which is SushiSwap. So you don't actually only have you know ethereum or for example a uniswap which is uh, ethereum's or it's on ethereum network first of all but it's a sushi's largest competitor basically well you can actually change the network so you can go on ethereum you can go on polygon and a few others and uh, it's very simple uh, on sushi there's a bunch of them so there's actually a lot of different uh, chains that are supported by it so you are able to swap on uh, a lot of different blockchains and it makes everything a lot more efficient now you can check out the website yourself a lot of different wallets are supported chains and all that it's very easy to start using all you need to do is head on over to the site and press the enter app button now sushi is not performing too well it has a market cap of almost half a billion dollars but uh, you know i do expect that it does make some moves in the near future as crypto adoption uh, picks up globally right if you want to purchase it you can purchase it very simply you can check it out on coin market cap right here and uh, you know for some reason my data doesn't really want to want to load so it's very difficult to purchase sushi apparently but i know as a fact that you can buy it on binance very very easily now for the end of the video i wanted to do a little overview of bitcoin so as you guys may know already from the previous videos we're between these very important levels so we have the 45k level in the middle, we have the previous all time high level and the 20k level. So we're either moving up from here or we're moving down uh, or we're staying in the middle. Now what I'm interested the most in is when we break out, I want to catch this move, right? So what I'm going to wait for is a little retracement and then a movement up and then another retracement into this zone, a good buying opportunity to push price further into the previous all time high level. That's what I'm going to be waiting for and now moving into the lower time frames. So on the four hour, for example, sorry about that. Um, we can basically see 
some interesting stuff going on. So first and foremost, I believe that we are creating a top right here on the lower time frames and that we are ripe for a little correction towards short term downside. So I wouldn't recommend buying anything just yet unless you're dollar cost averaging, but waiting for a little dip and then a break and then a retracement to confirm the upwards move. Now that's it for today's video, but lastly, I just wanted to cover sushi very quickly. It's a pretty ugly chart. We have a few important zones of support and resistance. And from here on out, I think the only way we're moving bullish is if we do break out from this zone, make a retracement, uh, offer good buying opportunities right here, and then continue moving first into this target and then potentially even higher. Now that's it for today's video. Hope you guys all enjoyed it. Make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. And lastly, I'm not a financial advisor and anything you do invest in crypto projects, you should, uh, you're going to be liable on your own and you should do your own due diligence. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Adios.